Kimi Raikkonen, the meeting Ferrari should have held with Sebastian Vettel, Mikko Hakkinen that is the verdict of two-time F1 champion Mikko Hakkinen, who says the duo battling each other opened the door for Lewis Hamilton's win at Monza. Raikkonen and Vettel started at the front of the grid at the Italian Grand Prix having sparkled and qualifying on Saturday. However, they were split up in the first lap as Hamilton took advantage of Vettel spinning off the track and sliding down the pack. Had to wait until lap 46 to make his move on Raikkonen but did so expertly and held on for the win. Hakkinen says Ferrari should have held a meeting with Raikkonen and Vettel after qualifying to decide how to stave off Mercedes man Hamilton. Kimi Raikkonen did a perfect job in qualifying on Saturday, and with a little bit late onto the track it meant that Kimi was able to benefit from towing up behind Sebastian on the long Munza straights in order to get pole position, Hakkinen rode for, while reflecting on the Italian Grand Prix. This was a great performance from Kimi, but a bad result for Sebastian because apparently, the Ferrari contracts give preference to whichever driver is on pole. If this is true, it was a mistake of leadership and strategy on Ferrari's part not to sit down with Kimi and Sebastian on Saturday night and plan how to run the race. They really did not need to be fighting each other going into the first corner, and when Kimi naturally defended, which he is entitled to do, it put Sebastian offline. This meant that Lewis, who was in third, was always going to get a really good run at Sebastian on the drive through the next corner, the Curva Grand, and that's exactly what happened. In simple terms, if the Ferrari drivers had not been fighting each other, they could have defended much better from Lewis on lap 1. From then on it was 2 against 1. Hakkinen pointed out the stark contrast between Raikkonen and Vettel's infighting and Hamilton and Walter Spada's teamwork. Lewis and Vault 3 against Kimi and this gives a team like Mercedes such a strategic advantage because they know exactly how to the play the game, Hakkinen added. As soon as Kimi made his pit stop we could see that Lewis was going to stay out for a few more laps. This meant he would have fresher tires at the end of the race and the Mercedes team also asked Valtteri to keep going on his first set of tires until lap 36. In this way, it meant that Valtteri could lead the race, control the pace, and put Kimi in the middle of a Mercedes sandwich. With Kimi's tires destroyed after he pushed very hard to keep his lead, in the end, the victory for Lewis was certain. Ferrari will be hoping the departing Raikkonen and Vettel do not clash at this weekend's